Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for To Catch a Beautician Season 1, Episode 3. I like this show. You know, it's as cheesy as it is. And oh my God, it looks so staged. It's entertainment. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot going on right now. We're going to enjoy this bit of entertainment. Now, I don't know if I'm going to upload this on Tuesday or Wednesday. It's Blackout Tuesday. So even though I'm recording this on Monday, you may not get it until Wednesday. I'm not sure. I may upload it, um, you know, late, like, you know, in the morning and just not do anything else. Um, until Wednesday, I'm not sure, but again, you know, we gotta be for the cause of it all, okay? Um, first things first, if you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and become a whole Jaybird, Jaybird, dun 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 dun, and all that goodness and stuff. Mm. Take a breath, calm yourself, you know? Bring it on down, bring it on down, you know what I'm saying? And make sure, make sure to <clears throat> center yourself, okay? And as always, as always, relax, relate, release, okay? Do not forget to also like this video, to comment in the comment section, to share it on your social media, your Facebook or your Twitter. Um, it's also greatly appreciated. You can also follow me on IG and Twitter at J underscore Lee's underscore corner. And all that information is in the description box below. Okay, so we all know we have our hosts, you know, Tamar and Johnny, okay? And every, every episode, Tamar got all these wigs. This one I like. It looks very wiggy, but it still looks cute. It's, it's a cute look or whatever, and I can appreciate that. So, we have two people, okay? We have uh, Solier, okay? I'm like, so what? Solier is his name or whatever. And he has a friend named was Stephanie. It was, it's Stephanie, okay? I'm like, I ain't got time for all the extras of the actor, okay? And he went to Stephanie to try to get a new hairstyle because he's like, I have a, a upcoming music video for a new, you know, album I released and we ain't heard about it at all. And I needed a whole new look. Well, Stephanie gave him a look with no edges, okay, that he did not expect, okay? Now, he wanted a whole sew-in, okay? He wanted a whole sew-in. And this is what he said happened. He said, I had her give me a sew-in, okay? And it was my first time getting a sew-in, okay? And when I had her give me a sew-in, she came to my house to do it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then she was flat ironing the, the leave out or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I smell hair burning or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And she burnt out my hair and she pushed back my my hairline and, you know what I'm saying, she pulled out my edges. Now, first of all, just from the looks of it all, I'm like, first of all, Ashford and Simpson, what is going on here? I'm like, no, brother, your hairline is receding. That don't look, that don't look like damage from a weave. That looked like you've been receding for a while and you were trying to get a sew-in to cover up the recedingness. Okay, that's what I think was going on, but I'm gonna leave that there. Now I'm like, now we're gonna put this over here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put this picture up so we can consistently see you know, what it is that we trying to see. Because I'm like, he wore that hat the whole time. You know, I don't know. I got to keep wearing the hat because, you know, the hair looks crazy, whatever. Because she pulled out all my edges and I can't believe it. Now, this is Stephanie and she could not believe what she saw, okay? Now, this is the thing. You know, he said I had to push back all my album stuff, whatever, because I couldn't be out here looking all crazy, whatever. And also, I never told her that she messed up my hair because I didn't want to hurt her feelings. Because again, you know, uh, Sawyer and Stephanie are good friends from college because they, you know, they're good Judy's or whatever, okay? Now, I'm like, first of all, when Stephanie came around, I'm like, first of all, her edits look sketchy to me, okay? Them is some sketchy little uh, girl. You painted down your edges. I don't like it. 
Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Don't trust a stylist with edgy edges, okay? Just don't do that. Now, she say she been doing hair for 12 years. 12 whole years. But she isn't licensed, okay? She's a kitchen beautician, which isn't a bad thing. A kitchen beautician, this means you learnt at home in the kitchen. In your kitchen, in your friend's kitchen, in your cousin's kitchens, in your auntie's kitchen, or whatever house you went over to do their hair where? In the kitchen. I don't know why people do hair in the kitchen. I would do that too. I always was doing hair in somebody's kitchen, but I digress, okay? So she just doesn't have any formal training. It does not mean that she can't do hair. It just means she's not legally licensed to be a stylist. But a lot of people aren't licensed. They still do hair. Okay. Anyway, so Johnny, you know, of course, shows her some photos of some good work she did. Okay. And then he shows her, you know, his hair. And, you know, of course, without his face, whatever. She's like, oh, I don't, I don't know this. Her hair, she suffered from hair loss. Oh, that's bad. I'm like, first of all, that's your friend, okay? And then, of course, Tamar and so yeah, come out. Like, hey, that's my hair. And you fucked it up. And she was like, um, I don't think that's true. Like, remember, you, your hair was already thinning. You know, you wanted a whole middle part. And I said, you might want to get a sad part because you thinning up top or whatever. Remember that? She, he was like, no. You didn't really suggest, you know, hardly that I get the sad part due to any sinning. You didn't, you like, you didn't really suggest it all the way. Meaning she did and you're lying, okay? I see a, a pattern with these people. These stylists don't 100% be fucking up. It be these clients. It be these clients. The only, the, the episode two. When, you know, the lady, the girl that the actress from, um, Family Matters, uh, that lady messed her up. She, that, it was, that was definitely the stylist's fault. But episode one and this one right here, this is not all stylist issues. Mm-mm, not at all. So, she then said, well, I wish you would have called me and talked to me about this instead of bringing me over here. Because she was crying. Oh, my, I'm just so, so, I feel so bad. And they're like, no, 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 don't cry. Like, he didn't tell you because he didn't want you to be hurt he was trying to spare your feelings look there's a way to spell to 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 spare your friend's feelings the way to do it is not to not call her in private and say you fuck my hair up is not to you know uh take her on a television show that would air across the, the world and say that she is not a licensed stylist and she fucked up your hair that's not the way to not hurt someone's feelings but now we know johnny is going to give them some tips okay he's gonna get his hair done she would get some help you know getting her thing together or whatever so we then see Johnny has brought out a, a hair loss expert. Okay, I'm going to call her Mama Jackie. I think I name was Jacqueline. So Mama Jackie is up here looking at his hair. And she's like, oh, you know, let me look through the follicles of it all. Well, between me and you and the cameras, okay, these follicles here, right here, like it doesn't really look like it's something from being burned. And I'm like, it doesn't, you know. And she's like, because I, I see your scalp. And in your scalp, like, it's just hair missing. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, I can see your hairline, you know, the hair at the line is receding, okay? It's receding. So, there's there's not much hair in the scalp, okay? And this was not from burn damage. You know, the information, you know, from looking at this or whatever. I'm saying I can tell some things. He then said, you know, I was looking for some information on how to grow your hair back after it was burned out. I don't think she know what she talking about. I say, brother, your hair wasn't burnt out. It fell out, okay, over time. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? By looking at this, I can see this is what we call male pattern baldness. Honey, when she said male pattern baldness, he was like, what? Oh, he was not happy with that at all, okay? But I'm like, sir, your hairline is receding. You're going bald a little bit. And the thing about that is, you can see the, the look, ain't none of that his hair. Just the top part, okay? That's all that's his. His hair ain't long at all. You're going bald. And that's the reason you went to get a sew-in. Because you knew your hairline was getting a little bit thin. And you wanted it to be luxurious. And ain't nothing wrong with him wanting to get a sew-in weave. The issue is you came out here acting like your friend burnt your hair out. 
Mm -mm, that was God. God got rid of your, because God gave you male pattern baldness, okay? And again, you know, she like, you know, the uh, the reason that you're here for a lot of people is because, you know what I'm saying, with male, male pattern baldness, you know what I'm saying, the weakness of your hair just could not take the amount of heat that she used because you have weak follicles. Yeah, yeah, weak follicles. And he was offended. I'm like, girl, I don't think she know what she's talking about. I think she do. I think she all hardly do. And I think, again, you knew the reason your hair was not there, okay? And it's because it was falling out. Now, anyway, you know, John explains that even though it was not the size's fault that he has male pattern baldness or whatever, her lack of schooling did not help because had she really been, you know what I'm saying, classically trained or just had some kind of education within hair care, she would have known how to not use the amount of heat that she used on his hair and even advise him, hey, you go on bald, boo. We can figure it out. Okay, but she ain't doing that. So, you know, Johnny helps her um, give her some little, some little man, some little sewing tips. And this is the thing. He gave her a thing, you know, because he, he still wants sewing. He still wants a sewing. And he gave uh, her a unit to put on his head called edges. I said, why is it called edges? And I said, oh, it was called edges because it was like just the edges of a wig. I said, oh, it was a, like it's the weave with just the lace front bit of it and the bit of edges on the weave. That's, and that's all. That. Imagine a condom that only covers the shaft, but the tip is fully exposed to be tended to. That's what it, it, that's what I thought about it when I was like, oh, uh, the edges, uh, you know, the edges of a condom, the girl. The edges weave reminded me of a condom that was just, you know, it was just only for the shafts. Like, it's all, all the tip is all out, like these, okay, all out to be used and tended to. I say, you know, it's a, a condom filled, uh, a wig or whatever. So, as they chit and chat or whatever, and she's, you know, sewing on his condom, I'm going to say it, you know, he admits that I wasn't able to accept that I was going bald, okay, and I, I maybe blamed you more than I should have. And I'm like, you did. You blamed her all the way. You told them that she made your hairline recede. That was nature. That was hereditary. That was natural. It left on its own. Anyway, we do see, you know, the whole land look or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, okay, I got to do this, okay? I got his hair together. And he came out, baby. I said, what in the Bufasa is going on here, okay? Those boots are made for walking. That's just what they do. One of these days, his boots is gonna walk all over you, is what I heard as he walked out. Ready, boots? That's what I heard. Girl, I was like, come on now. But the weave was great, okay? The weave that she did was really, really cute. Or whatever. I mean, it's full. It's Mufasa S, if you ask me. And again, um, I don't know why the week before didn't look good. I don't know if it was it was if it was just bad hair or what was going on. But this is a good look, okay? It's, or it could have been that he he was going bald up top. It's hard to have a good weave with a good leave out if your leave out is falling out. Like you can't have fallout leave out. Um, and that's all that it was. So again, I mean, he tried to blame her, but it wasn't her fault. Okay, it wasn't her fault at all. I mean, and he between him and his fur and then boots and that hair, I mean, he could have went bald. I think he can he can look amazing bald. He has a bone structure to carry off a bald head. I mean, the forehead already, you know what I'm saying, pushing back or whatever. And I'm like, he was he was not only getting his sewing for this party that he's going to. I think he also wanted it just to make himself feel like he has this full, luxurious bed of hair. And he couldn't agree. He was swinging it. I whip my hair back and forth and all that stuff. But again, we have to be clear to know that, you know, Sol, yeah, okay, was getting a weed because he's going bald. And again, ain't nothing wrong with that. Anyway, that was the whole episode, okay? I will talk to y'all later. Do not forget to like, to comment, to share this video. To follow me on IG and our Twitter at J underscore underscore corner. And I'm done. Until next time, peace.